In this video, we will see how we can download SVG as PNGs. Now let's first talk about what is an SVG. So SVG is Scalable Vector Graphic. So this is nothing but an image which is actually written as a markup. So this looks very much like HTML or rather XML. And this is actually embedded inside the HTML markup. And the idea is that if we change certain values, let's say I make the radius 50. Now this image has become larger without reducing the quality. So you can make it as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want and you will not lose the quality. So this is an excellent idea for web development. But if you have a site that you're scraping and you want to download these images, this is not a great format to work with. Now the solution is to use a converter library for example we are going to use today Cairo SVG so using Cairo SVG you can take an SVG and convert it into a PNG so that's what we are going to do and the website that we are going to work with is bootstrap icons if I just right click and look at the markup so this is an SVG but you will notice something that this is actually linking to another SVG right so let's click on this now this is the page which contains the direct link to the svg file right so if i right click and inspect so i have the direct link to the svg file so this is one way to download svgs the second way to download the images is to take this entire svg markup how do you know that this svg markup is going to work or not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this entire markup copy this Go to vs code and i've pasted in this markup here and i'm just going to try to open this with browser so here so this is very small but you can see that this svg has been loaded right so that means that this markup is good enough to work so this is what we are going to do we'll start with this page visit each of the individual page for the icon and we will download the svg file using two methods number one we will download the SVG by URL and number two, we'll download the SVG using only the markup. So let's get started. So I've created one Scrapey project and let's create a Scrapey spider. So Scrapey Gen Spider and let's use the bootstrap name. Okay, so let's call this bootstrap icon. So and the fourth parameter is supposed to be the domain name. So I'm just putting an X here and let's open this in VS Code. So let's start with this page right so copy the url and this is going to be our start urls so i'm removing allowed domains not really required and let's create a selector for this icon so this is my selector and you can see that there are 1800 icons on and this page and let's say that for url in response css now from this we have to extract the attribute href and get all to yield another request now instead of passing in the url directly i'll call response.url join so this will make sure that the relative urls are converted into absolute url we have to provide a callback method so let's call this parse icon now the first option is if you have a link to the download svg so what we can do is we can create a selector so this is going to be one easy selector because there is one attribute called download so if you just look for attribute download there is only one so let's yield okay so this is going to be the icon url so response.css and this is the attribute and let's get the attribute value of href now in case you are having difficulty in understanding how i created this selector go through the css selector video that i have created as a final step i have uh, surrounded this in response.url join oops now this icon URL is actually a URL to the SVG file. So let's begin with installing Cairo SVG. So this command is pretty simple, right? Just run pip install Cairo SVG, but Cairo SVG is not going to work just like that. So what you need to do is you need to come to the documentation page and you will have to go through the installation instructions. So if you want, you can read these instructions, but you will have to do some digging. So I've made things a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to link to this GitHub repository. If you're on macOS, for example, just use Homebrew to install these two packages. 
If you're on Windows, uh, you'll have to install this GTK3 installer. You'll have to install VC++ runtime. And to verify that Cairo SVG is installed, you can directly run Cairo SVG and you should see something like this and we can jump to the code. So what we are going to do is we are going to work on our custom pipeline. So let's go to pipelines and there is already one pipeline written here. We can use that directly inside process item. So don't forget to not touch this written item. So whatever code you are writing, just write between these two lines. We have the item. So this item is nothing but this, this dictionary that we are yielding here. So we have this field here. So let's create a variable item get just like you would access in dictionary. Let's import Cairo SVG. And here we are going to use Cairo SVG dot svg to png method and now here there are a couple of settings that we need to provide number one it needs the url so what is the url we have the icon url if we do not provide the width or height it is going to be a very small svg file so what we can do is we can set this output width parameter and this is going to be width in pixels so let's say that i want 500 pixel wide image file name can be provided using the right underscore to parameter what would be the file name the icon url is going to be something like this right so what we can do is we can take this last part okay so this file url is going to be icon url and let's split it based on slash and take the last part so we don't want svg we are going to save it as png so what we will do is we will replace svg dot png so there we go we have created the file url and this is what we can send to write to parameter but don't forget to enable this pipelines so open the settings file and because we are working with the default pipeline we can simply enable this so let's jump to the terminal and scrapey crawl bootstrap now this is going to take a little bit of time so i'm going to about the execution for now and let's open this folder in finder so now you can see that we have all the png files now what if you did not have access to this download svg this url okay so what we can do is we can create a selector that gives us this entire svg so this is going to be i can demo space svg so we are back here and let's use icon underscore markup and response dot css and then let's see svg and now we are not going to extract the text inside it we are not going to extract any attribute we are simply going to call the get method directly and this is going to give us the entire markup for this svg so now let's go to pipeline okay in the pipeline so instead of this url we are going to use the byte string parameter now this byte string parameter accepts the bytes which is actually converted from string so we need that string right this string is inside this icon markup so let's get that and this is going to be item dot get icon markup so this is the complete svg markup so we are going to pass this and we need to provide the encoding so let's use the utf8 which almost always works now don't be confused because of this icon url so i'm using this only to create the file url all right so let's go to the terminal now let's run scrapey and there we go so that's it for now i'll see you in the next one